Hi, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to the Chateau de Lalande and welcome to our first ever entry in Lalande's video diary. A lot of you have been really kind since we appeared on Escape to the Chateau DIY and have given me so much support, especially my friends on Instagram, and you've been asking me if I could maybe take some videos of daily life, which is a little nerve-wracking as we've never done it before, but I'm going to try. And I think each day is going to be completely different. I can't predict what there's going to be in any of the next vlogs. But today, it's Friday, we have a really big weekend coming up because a lot of the other chateau owners from Escape to the Chateau DIY are coming here for a party. And we each have to come dressed as one of the previous owners of our chateaus. So I'm coming as the cousin of Louis XIV, the Duchess of Orléans, my grande mademoiselle, Luckily, there's loads of portraits of her, and I'm trying to make a dress that's right for the period. But I've never done it before, so it's a little nerve-wracking, and I have two days because the big party's Sunday night. Meanwhile, we also have B&B guests coming today, so my mother is running around trying to get their room ready, and halfway through the afternoon, I'm going to have to switch to making dinner for them. And we'll see how the day goes. I've no idea. I've turned the dining room into my sewing room. And those of you who've seen photos on Instagram already will see a little bit of progress has been made because I've basically finished the skirt, but the bodice is a long way to go. I've made a couple of other dresses, 18th century dresses before, one for um, theatre studies A-level at school and one for going to the Venice Carnival. So the 18th century I know more about, 17th I've never done. And it's just being worked out as I go along. I'm not looking for historical accuracy. I'm looking for something that looks good as a costume. This is the inside of the bodice and you can see I've started boning it. Just the middle parts done here. I still have the rest of the bodice to do because they were fully boned in the 17th century. Now, I don't have any whale boning. I don't have any modern whale boning and my budget for this is zero pounds. So my mother came up with the ingenious idea of using this packing tape. It's a little bit more supple than it should be, but it actually seems to be working pretty well at giving shape. So I'm going to carry on and try and do the sides. Okay, I finished boning the front of this. Now I'm about to start on the sides and then we'll see oh, if oh. I... Oh, we have a problem. That ah. is there. Right. We have to stop giving the guests ready break. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've uh, run out of packing tape, so I've just sort of half boned the sides evenly as much as I can and I've marked the channels with pins and now I have to just sew it up. Great news, Gerald has found a working loose seat, unbroken. This is the final seam of the boning of the fabric bodice, so at the moment I could kiss the inventor of the sewing machine. I can't believe how easy it's been. Oh, I can practically hear the singing of the angels. You must be like Princess Mary. Go away! Should we bring this in with me? If I had a hammer, I'd have her in the morning. <laughs> oh, suddenly you <laughs> saw me and you started smiling! <laughs> now we see how you shout at us. <laughs> yeah, you're caught, you're caught. It's tough living in this house. <laughs> He's supposed to be the engineer. You should have seen the bit of engineering he did. Still looks a bit of a mess with all the pins, but I've got most of the top fabric on. Just about to put this bit and then the sleeves. But I have to stop any minute now because very soon the B&B guests will be here and I'll have to start cooking. Our guests have arrived. I'm nowhere near finished on the dress, but I've got to stop. I'm gonna go and cook now. And this is how far I have got. I think I made pretty good progress. Sadly, the bodice is all still just pinned. All of this needs to be sewn. I guess it's going to have to be tomorrow morning now. Roast chicken's about to go into the oven. Mm. We switch to cooking mode. And Mummy and Jerry are shelling peas. Mm. From the garden. From the They're garden. super sweet and delicious. I've come out to the garden to pick some roses for the dining table. These are the roses that we planted last year on Escape to the Chateau DIY. They're actually going really, really well this year. I'm trying to work out which colour would be best. I've chosen the colours I wanted. This rose with some lavender. Whoa! This all took me a bit by surprise then.
I can't serve dinner in the dining room because I have well and truly trashed it. So I'm serving it in the entrance hall, which I think is nicer in summer anyway. It's a much lighter room and I have collected the flowers from the garden. So there's the bouquet and that's the last touch for the table until dinner. Mummy's putting the final touches to the chicken and pasta, Voila. which was a specific request from our guests, and I'm just about to take it out for them. So that's it. We're done for the day. The meal is out. We're about to sit down to eat, and I'll do a little bit more sewing tonight and see how far I get. Have a lovely day. Lovely <laughs> to see you. Enjoy the Bye. evening.